I'm alive. We're live. Hello, hello. I've hello. gone blind. I've <laughs> gone blind. <laughs> Hello and good evening. Welcome oh, to AH Bespoke. Uh, uh, oh, hang on. I'll just turn that off. It was my bad, though, so. Oh. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks to Dale and thanks to Wayne um, for sitting in on this uh, next carving session. The carving tonight, I'm going to be carving the Cadbury's Caramel Easter Bunny. Um, it's very disturbing. It's very disturbing, but there's something unmitigatingly attractive about it. The Cadbury's, the Cadbury's right. Easter Bunny. I can't put my finger on what, but nonetheless. You've been indoors far too long, Deal. I mean, we're definitely getting it. Next week, we're talking about Fred, you know, I mean, Wilma Flintstone and... If you knew who voiced that, the image would go straight away. Would it really? Yeah, it really. Um, yeah. Check it out on the Googles and you'll see. Um, oh, I'll do that later. I'll do that later just for the giggles. Slightly just different. for the giggles. Um, she's very funny, mind. Um, really? Okay. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, that's the plan for tonight. We're going to carve that tonight. We are keeping an ear out for old Boris. Check that he's all yes. right. Um, he's gone back into intensive care, so obviously a bit of a national concern. Um, wish you the best. Hundred percent. Uh, and thanks to obviously thanks to all the um, NHS staff, the support staff, the care workers shelf stackers the delivery guys emergency services all of the people involved looking after us thank you so much you're doing a great job um I all as well it. oh yeah absolutely all everyone involved everyone involved um in keeping the country ticking over thank you um quick hello to the guys in the chat that i can see on my screen uh blah, 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 blah. we've got david fingers and we got shop dog mark uh we got nick dale jp um uh, blah, 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 blah. stace uh, uh jeff uh tbt that's dan isn't it herb as well i think i've got everybody and no i didn't baz and Last but by no means least, my good man Clive um, over at Sneaks. David's in there as well, turning his back turner. Fingers. Oh, in. That's David. Right, okay, cool. So what I shall do is flick you boys off the screen, if you don't mind. Careful now. Oh, no. The face. Don't flick me in the face. Don't flick me in the face. I'm getting, I'm getting flicked. <laughs> <laughs> Right, cool. Oh, there we are. Is this by magic? A heel appeared. <laughs> Scary cam. Okie dokie dokie okie. Joe balls in. Evening, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey, Joe. Um, I should do your nog in the nog, I think. Uh, the... Pardon what, but what? I should do your nog in the nog. Nog in the nog. You never seen Nog in the Nog? No, I don't. Nog in the Nog? Yeah. It's Welsh. Oh. Yeah. That'd be what? It's about Vikings. Oh. Kids show from 50s or 60s? When? I can't remember. 60s. 60s. Same folks that did Ivor the Engine. Cool. Sure. Sure. That'll be good for... uh... I'm sure it'll be good for a giggle. Good for a lunchtime live. (laughs) Mike the Midnight Joker's in. Evening, Mike. Hi, Mike. I can say evening now instead of afternoon. You can, but you're about to say afternoon all the time now. You know that, right? Yes, I know. <laughs> Until it gets to tomorrow evening, and then That's I'll start right. seeing okay. evening again. Just sorting out my mask. Right, I'm going to stick myself on mute. I've still got my headphones on. He said, it's all gone quiet, said Rhubarb. 
Oh, I can't remember any of the bloody things from. Um, aha, uh-huh, that program. Which one? Rupert and Custard and Nog and the Nog. I have no idea. I can remember quite a bit. We, have, we actually have the, the DVDs of Nog and the Nog because I kind of went through like what was called small films. Um, um, who did like Agro the Engine and a few others. There she is. Dal Bunny. We could do a screen share of that um, so everyone can see it, but go on then, sir. Let's have the bony. So, Mike, the midnight joker, is asking, want the chocolate melt? You got that to work fast. Plan, Mike. You got to work plan, it fast. Yeah, you got to work it fast and take it straight out the freezer. That's an idea. Andy, you could actually carve real chocolate. Yeah, straight out the freezer. So Mark is uh, saying well done to me on the amount of views I've had. Thank you very much, Mark. And thanks to everybody else who uh, liked and made a comment as well. Yes. Uh, Jobo is saying, Andy, the flamingo was awesome. She loved it. Excuse me. A bit of sneezing going on. Ah, sneezing's fine. Sneezing, no, no, sneezing's absolutely fine. It's been trouble with me since the start of the year. I suspect it's a combination of, uh, thank you, Nick. Um, I think it's a combination of wood dust and a cold I can't shift. Yeah, that happens. Coming into a change of the we're coming into a change of the weather, so we're down a lot. Oh, a few glitches in the camera. It's all right. I think my proxon long neck grinder is just about to start giving up the ghost. You still under warranty, or is it kind of done and dusted, or is it? Oh no no no! That's it, that's well out of warranty. What you got cooking then, Nick? What you got cooking for Wednesday? So I still can one of the things I still can't see. I mean, it's, it's like it's just amazing how suddenly the the whatever Andy's carving kind of jumps into, you know. Yeah, one, the, once he gets to a particular point, everything yeah. happens. It just kind of goes click and as if by magic, bunny appeared. Um, I'm going to scroll. So again, doing a puzzle. I really like so those those diagonal puzzles you make are really, 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 really cool. Nick, I really like them. You should consider doing that to something you've pyroed to make it a picture and a puzzle. I mean, that would just, that's, that's just an awesome, well, at least in my opinion, it's an awesome combination. Our GP's out right. chat and he says he's got a massive headache and no energy. No cold or flu symptoms, though. Okay, GP. Well, hope you get better. Joe's saying, uh, you know the thing he's holding, is there a flexible one made because I find it uh, hard to get a, a full grip with them being solid. Yep, that's what Andy's using. He's actually got the, um, it's a proper rotary tool made by Dremel that he's got at the moment. It's not the the, the Dremel handheld thing. But even with the, the ordinary Dremel, you can get a flexi shaft for that, Joe. Robert Laps is in, and he's saying he just turned his first bolt today, a little six-inch oak. Um, and he's blaming Wayne, Nick, and Stace for getting me hooked. 
Hey, don't go blooming blaming me, sunshine. I had nothing to do with it. You've got to take some culpability in that. I mean, you were one of the you were one of those early people I discovered when I started doing them. Unfortunately, my first exposure to, to, to YouTube turning was Nick Zametti and Doug. I will. Doug being Doug being mad with his finger at the camera and Zametti just being mad. Yeah. You know? One of these days, Nick will be able to turn. <laughs> Unlike Doug, who can. Yeah. Um, however, it worked. I mean, in terms of getting me into making kind of thing from just being getting into making, I've got to take my hat off to Mr. Zometa because without his... Oh, I really... Him, I, mean, I would never have had a crack at doing what I'm doing now. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I really like Nick's channel. I love all the videos he does, but um, when he uh, the earlier ones when he was doing wood turning, I thought that is all yeah. my life. So Nick is saying, uh, "This is Nick the Flame and Turner now." Um, I'm playing with the fifth, whatever that is. That I think he means he's, he's, he's pleading the fifth. Yeah. Uh, what that actually means, Nick, is is that you don't have to see anything in case you incriminate yourself. So he could be doing a pyro project. Interesting. Ah, Nick says, you think it's that Nick we're talking about? It's not that Nick. It's Nick Zametti of Lunatech. We like your channel. We like Nick's channel, to be fair. Yeah, Nick, when I was talking about the, the wood turn there, I was talking about Nick Zametti. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> I think one of my early memories of Nick the Flaming Turner's channel is this guy with a almost Mohican blowing blowing vape at the camera kind of thing. I thought, yeah, all right, I'm gonna sit down and watch this. <laughs> Who else we got out here? No, all quiet wasn't on. Do, 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 do. I think I remember, I remember <clears throat> coming across the Beard 16 channel because obviously it ran everything at 16 times. Um, I can't remember how I came across Nick's channel and how I came across uh, Richard's channel. Um, it might have been through um, Dave the Wood Barber that um, uh, got under, under their channels. I'm still watching this, um, keeping an eye on, keeping an eye on what's, I think. Is what's it happening? Boris the first, is Boris the first global leader to get taken into intensive care? Is he? Yes, he I would he say so, be. yes. He might be. No? Andy says no. All right. Didn't the German... German, the German Prime Minister, didn't she? Oh, Merkel. Merkel. Yeah, didn't she have it? I don't think so. I'm going oh, to check while we're on. There's David Woodbury. Hi, Dave. I uh, could be wrong. I could be wrong. Dave! Merkel coronavirus news. Uh, no, she's got something else. Everybody was wor worried about her because she was shaking all over the place. Right, uh, David's asking, how long have I been doing lives? I think I only started doing lives at the back end of last year, David. I did start doing them on the Monday night um, after At Home with the Fishers. And then I changed them to a Wednesday night. Uh, but I, I'm sure I, it was the back end of last year I started doing lives. And since I've started doing lives, I'm not doing as, as many videos. <clears throat> oh, Baz is in the chat. Evening, Baz. Evening, Baz. 
JP says he's never come across Day of the Wood Barber. Well, not while he was conscious, anyways. <laughs> I remember when I decided to have a good doing lives to scroll so you just have this moment where you think, so let me get this straight. I'm going to try and do a live for something that takes four or five hours. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to do that then. Clive, how are you, sir? So I'm great, grateful to Richard. Richard is my Richard is my GP. If you feel me, hi, GP. Okay. Did you use kind of like the voice recognition while you were driving for that one, Nick? Has that sort of ring to it, doesn't it? JP, you missed you missed another practice piece I was doing this afternoon. <laughs> you can start to see the bunny ears there. Just a little bit, yeah. So I'm not sure of what you're indicating, Andy, but I'll take you. We'll wait and see, sir. We will leave it to to the master. Mike says, duh, kicked power out of the laptop and had to restore my config. Oh, not so Oops. good. 19 watching, Andy. 11 thumbs up. No down. Oh, GP was watching. Cheers, GP. I'm going to get that textured one that I did today. I'll get that finished tomorrow and stick some folders up. I agree, Dave. We should have more thumbs up, folks. Let's go all the way up to 19 if we can. Come on, one more, one more, come on, one more. Must be somebody out there who has who hasn't pressed it. I bet you it's Andy. I bet you Andy hasn't pressed thumbs up in his own video. That's why it's sent the eighteen. Stay says painted yellow. Actually means you. Yeah, yeah, painted yellow. No, it's not going to get painted. Well, there might be some iridescent gold in there at some point, but uh, it'll probably be my usual three favorite iridescent colors which will be purple green and gold you're gonna muck around with a with a wide uh, a wide spray nozzle on the airbrush with a, you get those bottles that you put on it that are bigger than the normal ones for the airbrush um, um with it with with the Joe Sonia paints, I, mm. I tend just to um, well use anything I can, like a bubble wrap, cling film, mm. Mm. Uh, latex gloves, balloons, fingerprints. Mm. Uh, I do sometimes use a paint brush, <laughs> mm. but I haven't actually thinned them down enough yet to see how they look going through an airbrush. I haven't practiced with that yet. So to finish off the, the bowl I did today, and I'm only going to colour the, the top of the rim. I'm not going to colour the underneath of the rim. It'll probably be more of a um, a dry brush type thing. You know, the way you, you dip the brush in the paint, wipe a lot of it off and then uh, dab it on. Uh, so it'll be, so hopefully there'll be a, a lot of the iridescent um, highlighted over the black. Christina Michael in the chat. We're watching TV, chatting on the phone as the laptop starts. 40 minutes of backup to go before I try to store. Good luck, Christine. <laughs> Christine, I mean, Christine had the chat on the phone earlier on as I, as I was bringing up her quite long, quite long and detailed knowledge 
from previous from pre from her previous career in IT um, to just keeping across a few little hurdles towards Windows 10 uh, goddesshood. Um, I look forward to hearing uh, the results, Christine. Trying trying to get the the laptop sorted. Yes, that'll be fine. She's got this. What me so Dave the wood barber is asking what medium is Andy using? I believe it is um, Madam polyester. Tracy. He's using Madam Tracy kind of thing to do this. <laughs> um, he's available on Thursdays or Wednesdays by appointment. <laughs> 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 don't ask. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> right, Dave. To answer your question, I think it's polyester. Yeah, it is polyester from GPS agencies. That's where. That's what it is. I missed what it was. He retracted there. He said he retracted it really quickly. I missed that. Um, um, uh, Nick says, you could also use butt cheeks. Oh, wait. NVM. That would be uh, that would be a poo idea. Yeah. Um, um, Barry is asking, does it smell, Andy? Not really. Complete with a crystal ball. Yes, absolutely. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, there's a thing. See, when they retract the message on the live, it doesn't retract it inside StreamYard. All right. Okay. That's quite fun. I can see it over there now. Yeah. That's handy. It involved, yeah, we've sort of got it now, mate, with a, with, a, with a crystal ball. It says over here. That's a, that's a bit poo. I don't even remember that for, for you know if I ever put a message into the chat <laughs> if I retract it it shows up over here. <laughs> I wonder if that's by design. Hmm, interesting. And he does give his dremels a workout. Yep. It is, Dan. His hands do slowly but surely merge into the same color as the material. It's like that scene from the end of Predator where Arnold Schwarzenegger is covered in mud and the Predator can't see him kind of thing. That's what we've yes. got going uh -huh. on here. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps not. <laughs> I thought I think that, I would have yeah, brother, that. I think that was said, a... so I tried. <laughs> I think that was was more to do with the temperature type thing anyway but anyway was it really it yes, i matter. think it was a masking of the temperature really wasn't it yeah because they because it was infrared they used i did must confess what? i did like predator 2 as a movie with danny glover in it it was i didn't movie. i didn't like that one i thought i thought that was uh, yeah it starts with a c and ends in the p i quite like tell it. you the truth have you ever seen Batman Dead End? Oh, Batman Dead uh, End, YouTube fan movie. No. Look it up after this. Trust me, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Dates back to dates back to like two thousand three. It's it's excellent. You know, don't so much look at it from a from a, just look at it as a as a as a movie fan sort of thing. It's about ten minutes long and it's excellent. Um, oh yeah, is she lying on her side, Andy, or is she going to be like a no? She's lying character? on the, she's lying on her side, I'm sure she is. Oh, the phone's coming out, and dun, dun, dun. she's on her side. Can't see, can't see anything for really can't see it. We get the idea, yes, Dave. We haven't had a that's what she said. In the chat for yes. a while. Not yet. <clears throat> yes. She's reclining. It's 
So Baz is asking, have you done a Predator Scroll deal? You might think I have a pattern already prepared for the Predator. I'm actually conflicted. I can't decide if the Predator is a good guy or a bad guy. Both. Exactly right. Both, yeah, I can't, ma mainly I can't because think. mainly because they kill aliens, but yet again they kill everybody else as well. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. So if you were gonna if you're gonna have to come down on one side or the other, a left or a right, what is he? Um, I'd do him down the middle. Can't no, doesn't well at that. Doesn't. All work. right, okay. Got to be left or the right. So good comes from the right, bad comes from the left. That's it. I'd, Villains I'd are stick. from the left. Good guys are from the right. Yeah, I'd stick them down the right because I've always like predators. So, so yeah, so I've kind of put, so the, the pattern I've got is I've got them kind of on the right. Yeah, kind of got them on the right at the minute. One to do. That's a long one. That's kind of, if you, you remember the alien took about five hours, he's in the same neck of the woods, I reckon. Yeah. It's quite detailed, particularly, particularly the, 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 the way I've done knives coming out of his hand. You know, the, the I don't know what it is. No, not putting him in the middle upside down neck. Go and lie down. You're clearly having a pro you're having mind problems over there. <laughs> <laughs> JP, poke the head up from the bottom of the picture like he's playing peekaboo. I've actually got something else that, that, that there's there's one come up from the bottom. It's a Mr. Man character. I've had a request. I'm starting to do an interpretive Mr. What, what was that? Uh, is, it, is it the the Where's Wally? The the one that has the head peeking over the yeah, wall? Yeah. yeah. No, no, Nick, that's, that's Nick, Nick saying there, uh, he always says films that have sequels, the first one is always the, the best. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Well, I'm not sure about that either. Although I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of ones now. So here's my, here's my. I mean, here's here's my exhibit. Is for the. Of the original Star Wars movie, the best Star Wars movie was The Empire Strikes Back, which was the second one. Empire Strikes Back was the third one. No, it wasn't. Definitely wasn't. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't. It was the second one. It was the second one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jedi was the, was you know was that one. Um, yes, um, that's right. Uh huh. I got it. I got a bit mixed up there. And then there's Blade. So Blade, there was the first Blade. Then there was Blade Two, and Blade Two was amazing. Yeah, I thought Blade Two was uh, better than Blade. Yeah, like quite a bit. Um, the Star Trek movies, the original Star Trek movies. Uh, there was Star Trek One, which was yeah. And then there was the Wrath of Khan, which was awesome. Terminator Two. See, see, Terminator Two. See, I quite I had quite a soft spot for the first one, but I could see why you would say that, Dan. Um, Rocky two versus Rocky. Hmm. See, I'm not. So yeah, so Rocky two was an awesome movie, but I'm not sure they were they were hitting the same market. If that makes sense, I think Rocky one was really quite fun. But yes, it was a good movie, definitely a good movie, not a flop by any measure. By any measure. What do you what do you think, Nick? You've obviously said you've kind of put that out there. Give us a couple of examples where the first movie was great and the second movie was pants. Lethal Weapon Two is the best. I think you're right there, JP. I think that's the same with Mad Max as well. How much preferred Mad Max Two? Mad there. Max Two was Mad awesome. Max. Everything either around it was a bit. Mm. Apart from apart from Tina Turner is is. Is auntie. No, she was she was three. She or I mean, even she was four. I was gonna say she's the she's she's the thing that the reason to watch three, definitely. For her only acting uh, outing and was awesome in it. Well, GP is saying Titanic was so good they didn't even bother me in a second. Uh, Thunderdome, Thunderdome was the one with uh, Tina three. Turner in. Yeah, number three. Yeah, number th yeah, number three. Was it number three or number, number four? Three. Okay. Number three. Okay. Number three. See, 
the the annoying thing that, that with JP mentioned in Titanic there was the annoying thing about Titanic was I knew the ending. <laughs> You did 20 pence on the boat sinking. Yeah. Come on in, Nick. What's that one? The reason I say that, the first are always better as you're learning, learning about the story and the people. Take the Matrix, the first one you're learning about Neo and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. Jeep. JP saying speed with Sandra Bullock is a good example of they should have left it the first one. Totally, <laughs> JP. Plain, plain totally. The movies they should have made one of and just left alone. Yeah, plain Speed 2 go. was absolute crap. Speed 2 was you can get Keanu Reeves, and the minute you can get Keanu Reeves, this wasn't going to work. You know, I think there was lots of problems. Has, has, any, lots has, of anybody, problems. has anybody figured out about the Matrix that Neo is an anagram? Sorry, mate. With with the matrix, Dick's put in there. They learned about Neo and stuff. Has anybody figured out that Neo is an anagram? Mhm. Mhm. So I agree with you, Stace. You've really got to watch the the animatrix is the glue between. The <coughs> It's the same with the Chronicles of Riddick and, and <clears throat> Pitch Black. If you don't watch the two animated movies in between, you don't get the jump from Pitch Black to Chronicles of Riddick. John Wick are great movies. Every John Wick movie so far has been better than the last. Oh, definitely. It's building up and up and up. Kind of with, a, with, with a bigger kill count. With a bigger kill count. And him getting yeah. slowly but surely more damaged in the process. John Wick 3 has killed more people in New York than COVID. Mm. Okay, okay, maybe not. not. Boris. Maybe not. How's Boris? How's Boris doing? We've got a, a running queen being kept informed by number 10. Intensive, gives, intensive care gives clear indication of the PM's health. Boris needs to rest. Um... Um, yes. He, yes. If he's in course, hospital, if he's in hospital, he's not going to get much rest. Yeah, he needs to be. He needs to stop this trying to run the country from your hospital bed, mate. Get well. Come back. John Wick Four has been put on hold. By the way, in case you didn't know. They couldn't find enough stuntmen to kill. Boom, boom. Thanks for that, JP. JP's just saying he's got live updates on Boris. He's intensive care. Um, I think Dale has already has also got that uh, as well. JP. I'm running. Well, thanks for that. Watching it live as we speak. Do you know what? Would be another good one to do with Jessica Rabbit. Jessica with Rabbit. Bob Hoskins, yeah, well, Bob Hoskins standing beside her. Oh, no, that would be quite tough. Jessica would be easy, but Bob would be quite complicated. Tell the way I do them, in other words, using the colour and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't know how to colour Bob in. Colour him in as Mary, no. on the other hand, maybe a laugh. That'd be easy. However, the only movie in history I've ever walked out of was House of a Thousand Corpses. Which was just. I uh, uh, don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, Dan. You know, I mean, he's, he's here. We have here we have somebody who's uh, uh, we all know been taken into intensive care. It's the it's the speed of how quickly he's gone from being taken back in on the way down. You know, I mean, as as one as one human being, kind of thing. I wish him everywhere, every 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 good luck in the world right now. Oh, 
I reckon we'd have Did to you work see that on one that. from Jib? We would have to work oh, on that. I was just one. about. Yeah, we'd have to work on how that would it might wind up with two very different styles. You know, one in each picture though could work. Could work. I'll me down most films I've watched that have sequels. I'll just run off of the first where you already know about the characters and the story. So in, in some cases, I would agree. That's why I always draw in the the likes of Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan, because here you've got a older story in the TV series being kind of rock band. Oh, it brings out chasing the dogs out. Uh, Frozen Two was pants. I hear. Well, I haven't watched Frozen One, but it, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a jump to think that. Although well, Toy Story Two was quite fun, to be fair. That's an eternal question, Barry. Where the best person is to get scroll pat scroll cell patterns from? Some Scotty to like sites. I won't buy them. I'll just make mine. I guess that's kind of how I slowly but surely developed the kind of two or three styles I quite like. Although the thing in the thing on Sunday kind of worked. I think that looked really good when I did the resin pour on it. I thought that looked brilliant. The one you I did on Sunday. It's gonna it'll be it's gonna be all right. It needs so it's gonna I'm gonna pour resin on it a bit like a, a imaginary. Imagine it's a bit like a, a a resin table, but you know only a few mil thick, um, and all the gaps round about the scrolled out pieces. I'm gonna give yeah. it a try this week. Um, did you read that one from Buzz about where to get the best scroll patterns from? I says I said that it's quite it's one of those it's an eternal question. Um, it's an eternal question. There are lots of places you can get them. If you're looking for a scroll saw pattern to get going, I would always recommend going to Steve Good's website, um, um, whose name, his website thing completely, I completely missed, but I'll pull it out for a little while. But go to try, try that one. Um, try going to Steve Good, look up Steve Good. Um, Dale's got quite a few patterns on um, team scroll saw. the Facebook, Facebook yeah. uh, Team Scroll Saw. Charles oh. Deering, his website has got lots of patterns on it. And actually, I, th I think he sells them, doesn't he, Deal? He does. 1,900 patterns he has in the for sale. Charles has, has lots and lots of patterns. And you can, you can tell a Charles Deering from, from, from a million miles away. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean yeah. that. It just means Charles' style is a very strong style. Um, yeah, very intricate. Very, very fretwork. You know, it's an evolution of fretwork into making portraits. Um, um, I mine's is closer to another group of, of scrollers, which are called, you know, which really go by the spray paint sign sort of people. Um, so I tend to be closer to them in terms of the materials and approach than uh, than Charles. But again, Barry, I really think it is just what do you want to cut? Um, um, but I would go to definitely go to start with Steve Good because he's got everything on Steve's good site is just a bit free. Talking about films and going back quite a few years, Death Wish was definitely the best of all of them. Of the of the Death Wish movies, totally. Yeah, the first one I'm talking about was mm -hmm. definitely the best of all of them. Yep. Definitely, definitely, definitely was. See them. They've done. A, have, you, have you seen the remake? They've done a remake with uh, Bruce Willis. Did they? Recently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Recently, the last couple of years, I just watched it last week. I must confess, it slipped me by. It slipped me by. 
Hellraiser 2. So I thought Hellraiser was quite fun. Um, if we're going to go back a few years, I have a, I have a soft spot for late 60s, early 70s sci-fi. So the Omega Man kind of thing. Um, Andromeda. You ever watch Soylent Green? Soylent Green. You know, the original Planet of the Apes trilogy. You know, all that kind of era was really, they were really, they, they, they had all that sort of feel of just into the future, if that makes sense. Not not, not like out of fingertip reach. Zero population. Mike, Mike the Midnight Joker is put in The Thing. The um, original Thing was awesome. Yeah, they, they didn't do a sequel to that. They did do a remake, which I thought was pretty shy. John Carpenter's remake was excellent. John Carpenter, when was that? So that's the one that... So the, there's an original The Thing, which is kind of... A uh-huh, with Kurt, with Kurt Russell? No, no, there's one Kurt... before that. Oh, was that way back when? There was way back. So the one with Kurt Russell is the John Carpenter remake. Oh yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. They have yeah. made a remake. Oh, they have made a remake of that. Well, that's gone past me, and how long may it continue to go past me? I think you're probably right, David. Mister, I think Dave, I think you're probably right with that. Um, are you a Buck Rogers fan, Dale? Um, so yes, so I quite so I have a thing for the old 1930s Buck Rogers. I quite like the newer one to the one from you know by Glenny Larson, um, the one that was made with Wilma Deering and all that. But I quite like the original Buster Crab, uh, Buster Crab. Is it Buster Crab Tree? Was it Buster Crab? No, Buster Crab. It was Buster Crab. I think, thanks so. Crab Tree was somebody else. Um, back in the day, that's starting to look really good, mate. You really start to see her coming out. Um, that old kind of, you know, back in the day sort of Buck Rogers. You know, with, you know, the Saturday morning serials era, I think is what I'm talking about. Interestingly, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously Buster goes on to be um, 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 who else are they going to be? Buck Rogers. Flash Gordon, obviously, same era. Yeah. Interestingly, I have a, a Ming the Merciless coming up, um, which is a tribute piece to the actor who played him, who passed away quite recently. Yeah, so full on 1980s sci fi madness kind of. All right. Ming the Merciless with a, a little bit of a nod to the, to the classic series. That's it. The thing in 1951. That was it. 2011 one escaped me, but the 1982 one was, was very much the one most people remember. Yeah, that was the Kurt Russell one. Yeah. The, the John Carpenter directed uh, Kurt Russell starring in The Thing. I'm just trying to remember the, the sci-fi thing from the 50s and 60s set in the UK. Oh, so you're talking about Quater Mass? Yep, Quater Mass. That's what I'm talking about. So Quater Mass and the Pet was awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was. Absolutely awesome. Um, trying to In fact, Quater Mass did, did a. Um, it was one of their ones which was um, very much like um, Soil and Green. So that was. So they did one in the 70s which had. Trying to think of the actor now, famous British actor in all the war movies. Damn. It wasn't James Mason. It wasn't James Mason. No. It came straight into my head. I'm desperately, I'm not looking at the computer to, to work it out. I'm trying to think of 
come back into it. But they did one in the seventies where it was kind of some alien space thing. Yeah, that was, that was the one where they were turning all the uh, all the humans into food. That was it. Which is basically what they did with the uh, in Silent Green with yeah. Charlton Heston. It was all the crops so where they they'd done the crop circles with the standing stones was where it happened before. And uh, uh, I'm trying to think what it's called. It was quite a mess than something. I was going to say David Niven was the guy. It wasn't David Niven. No, it wasn't David Niven. It wasn't David Niven. His daughter was a famous actress too. Heck. Oh, to um, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, white oh, hair God. in the mood and the white hair in it. Because he was the main eye. He was quite a mess. I'm trying to think of a name. He definitely was. He was quite a mess. I'm going to give in now. I'm going to look. Quite a mess. Um, John somebody. I haven't found him yet, but it's just went into my head. John, 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 Heck. I mean, no, it wasn't John Heck. It wasn't John Heck. It was John no. somebody. John Mills. There we are. That's it. Haley was John his daughter. Mills. Haley Mills was his daughter. Damn it. Yes. That was quite a good one. But the the pet, uh, the one I remember was quite massive. The pet. That's the one that jumps out. The the one. Uh, to be honest, there hasn't really been a horror film that scared me. Pure horror films, I think, I'd be inclined to agree. But uh, but uh, there was a movie with uh, David. David, his name will come back in a second. Um, called Medusa Touch. Wasn't David at all, was it? Uh, Richard Burton. Richard Burton, I the Medusa Touch, yeah. Richard Burton with a Medusa Touch. Um, a kind of hammer horror less is more type movie which does leave you to this day leaves you slightly unsettled someone says space 1999 said fingers space 1999 season one is a work of genius season two eh, not so much so steve coombs is in and he kind of missed the start of this are we just shouting out old oldish movies to tell you no i think somebody mentioned original to start off with i think somebody mentioned original movies and sequels and which was best the original or the sequel and it's just followed on from that steve that's that's where we're going with this uh while watching andy doing his carbon of the of the cadbury's bunny which is almost a retro piece in its own right I'll be right back. I'm just nipping off to a place. Yeah, I'm going to one of those less is more ones. You wanes away for a minute, probably going to turn the ball. You, you know, you might, you're not that far from the truth. I sometimes think he may have a lathe in his toilet. You know, I might just be, I might just be making that up, and it might not be true. But it's not beyond, it's not beyond the realms of possibility. So come on then, Steve. What was a, what was a, a movie where you thought the, the second move, the second one in the track, the second one in the series was better than the first one. That's how this really began. 24 likes, Andy. Yeah, Superman 2 was a good movie. I quite like that. Anything with Jaws in it. Anyone catch True Grit? You mean the remake or the first one? Blue Thunder and Airhawk. Hawk. 
Was it Airhawk though? Blue Thunder, <laughs> yes. But I don't think it was Airhawk. I'm back. I don't think it was Airhawk. Yes, Mark, I've just been away to turn a ball. I'll stick the footies up tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure I've got the pilot for that helicopter one you're talking about on Blu-ray somewhere. Kind of mad thing I do. Watch them go and cheap and then buy them. Oh, Joy's here. Hiya, Joy. Hey, Joy. I'm sorry I upset you earlier on today, Joy. With Did demolishing, you? with yeah, I, d I demolished the ball. Oh, okay. I'm looking for this this movie now. This one that the fingers said um, was. I'm sure it wasn't Airhawk. Might be wrong. Airwolf. Actually, I tell a lie. I've got it now. It's called Airwolf. Yep. Yeah, in fact, you've just got it at the same time. I found it on the shelf. <laughs> um, right, seeing as how we're on movies, any favourite quotes from movies? Yes. I've got several. Also from the chat as well, please. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything for it until we get going. Come on in, folks. Favourite quotes from movies? What were you, Andy? Favourite quotes from movies? Thank you, Joy. That's what she said, Dave. Say hello to my little friend. And do you feel lucky, punk? Classic one liners. Yeah. Mine mine's got two sentences. Uh, Dan says gotta be why so serious. My favorite my I think my favorite she hog was along the same lines, yep. Yeah. And the Joker says I've come here to chew bubblegum and kick your ass. <laughs> and I'm all out of A load of bubblegum. Nice. <laughs> One of my favourites is, do you know what I am? Answer, ugly all day. <laughs> Mine's is actually from a, from a crap Batman movie, Batman and Robin, directed by Joe Schumacher, where Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, Mr. Freeze, says, you know, I mean, in this universe... There's only one absolute. Everything freezes. Um, um, which is a true true statement in some respects, but nonetheless, the way Arnold Schwarzenegger delivers it, it's awesome. Yes, London, you know, fish and chips, cup of tea, bad food, worse weather, Mary Poppins, London. Actually, if you're going to go for another one, I think another infamous line, and you kind of work out what age people are of is when you go broadsword calling Danny Boy. Broad oh, yes. Broad, calling Danny Boy. Come in, Danny Boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've got to be a certain age to get that one, I think. I'm sure everybody's seen it. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Well, yeah, remember that one as well? He did very well. You know, I mean, our boy did very well in that. You should see the toast. I couldn't even get it through the door. Come on, Andy. You must have a favorite line from a movie. Here we go. <laughs> oh, 
Have you ever cared on one? Yes, but they were all bad. Good one. It's not it's it's not a one liner thing, but the word foobar. Where's your other hand between two pillows? Those aren't pillows. <laughs> <laughs> That's too big to be a space. That's too big to be a space station. I mean, we can't get through this without coming away with. I think Andy's trapped the Dremel and he's nuts there. Did you hear that? I don't know. I don't um, know what that one was. These are all good, but I think. Can't go through a movie quote thing without pulling out the one, the infamous one liner. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Second Se star second from, from the right then. From the right. From then on till morning. morning. Second uh, star from the yeah, right. Yeah, I, I think I remember that movie as well. Which one? Uh Which it movie? was um Oh, was that the the kid that used to play the um, sort of the game and then got picked up by? So you're thinking about the last Starfighter. Yes. You're thinking about the last Starfighter. I think George that's, thinking that's... about Peter Pan. Oh right, okay. Right, sorry, oh. sorry. I did well there. <laughs> I think I'm just going to say from that fragment of information, I managed to pluck that. <laughs> well, that wasn't a bad movie either. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. The last I fight was all right. Son, your ego is writing checks. Your body can't cash. Uh, Shop dog says the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the worlds. He didn't exist. Uh, the flaming Turner. The the they taken the hobbits to Isengard, but just for the remix somebody did on YouTube. All right. Um hey Lisa Lips, your mother's a snowblower. Ha <laughs> Johnny Five. Your mama was a snowblower. Julian Badgers? Yes. Badgers. We don't need no badgers. You're it until you're dead, or I'll find someone better. You can really start to see her coming out. Your mother was a hamster and your father smells of elderberries. Yep. Know that one as well. We're all individuals. Yes, we're all individuals. I'm not. <laughs> what have the Romans ever done for us? <laughs> Where's the feet that's going to just eat? You're going to keep it in a box? Same movie. My name is Forrest Gump, but my friends call me Forrest Gump. People often quote The Last Fighter as a remake of The Minute 57, but that was a remake of The Seven Seven Samurai. And I've watched, I must confess, I thoroughly enjoyed The Seven Samurai. My own yes, so did I. Um, so did I. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Yeah, I've seen that a couple of times as well.
real simple he's things. Uh, he's a very naughty kind of. He's not a messiah. He's a very naughty boy. <coughs> yep. In movie as I was quoting. Lots of good quotes in that movie. Oh. Andy. They may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom. Oh, that was that Australian guy, wasn't it? It was, uh, it was that strange odd character that painted half his face. Aye, uh, haha. Uh -huh. Not sure what was going on there. Can't get behind that one. Come on, Bojo, shake it off. 2014, the PM was given oxygen before taken to intensive care. Boris Johnson was given oxygen before taken into intensive care on Monday afternoon. Not much has been released as to the Prime Minister's condition, but Number 10's earlier statement said he had worsened after suffering persistent symptoms of coronavirus. He's only five, he's only five years older than me. He's actually less than that. I think he's about four and three quarters years older than me, so I kind of watch this with a bit of a, well, if it can happen to him. Yeah, but like I was, like I was saying earlier on, Deal, I mean, yeah. he he was doing silly things at the start of this. Yep. Even so. Yeah, he, no, he, yeah, even so, yeah, I, I totally agree. I hope he, yeah, I hope he gets well. I hope he gets well quick. I was thinking more from the perspective of looking back at my own behaviour at the start of this and wondering if I was doing silly things was kind of where my head went. Um, you know, like, you know, no, how can I put it? When you're looking right back, you're thinking I was still travelling in the tube, I was still, you know, doing all the same stuff I was doing at the start. You just wonder. You just wonder. Yeah. Meantime, you do. the dude abides and Wayne of the Big Feeties is in the chat. I assume oh, we Wayne of the Little Feeties is with you. He, uh, Wayne of the Big Feeties has obviously just finished work and is back home. Good man. And I take it uh, young Val will be there with him. So Mark's saying he's working from home, uh, but has to pop out most days to take stuff to his services uh ppe etc stuff like that i've got to work at home pretty much but <clears throat> some point this week we'll be a trip to well within a lock we'll be a trip to tesco's although i'm told the queues are greatly diminishing these days they're much more everyday sort of sizes um, you didn't file your paperwork last night. This office is now closed. Yow. Michael Zawoski, this has been the worst date bar none. Um, Stace, I've switched. I've watched way too much Monsters, Inc. Yeah. Um, um, JP Woodcraft says, oh, I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for the ransom, I can tell you I don't have the money. Or I do have a very particular set of skills. I can use a scroll saw blade, both flat and spiral, <laughs> and I can do it on a 16 inch uh, uh, <laughs> scroll saw. <laughs> so if you don't, if you don't bring me back my daughter, I'll cut another child's deer pattern. No, um, what he said was skills I've acquired over a very long career, skills that make a nightmare for people like you. If you Yes, you JP, I have yeah. I have taken that one on board. You see what I did there? Yeah. I had to call that one from go from goggles. Okay. Mm. 
Are you going to turn that thing or whistle Dixie? I should say that to Wayne as one of my in here. You can turn that thing and you can turn it away. <laughs> GSG Woodworking is in the chat. Good evening, GSG. Twenty watching, twenty four likes, Andy. You know, Streamyard is slightly quicker tonight than than YouTube for me. They call it a royale with cheap. Aye, well, JP's mentioned food now. Well, I could just, I could just eat a royale with cheese. We're all good for the food. I've got a, I've got a, the remains of a pizza in the living room, chilling down and becoming sufficiently chewy. And spicy enough for me to remember it for most of the night. I think we can't get through any quotes from movies with that. You're supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> You're just supposed to blow the bloody doors off. I think that would have sounded funny if it had been good morning, Margate. Oh, Dusty. Where are we at? Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Oh, spot of a change underway. It's even got a chuck key. I did not know that. You're a big man, but you're out of shape. The final shaping. It's live. It's live. Fuck the three she seashells. We're having a flocking moment again. Don't know that one. Flocking? I don't know that one. We were discussing on the Beard Sex Scenes Live, you know, whether she should flock on or flock off when it comes to putting flocking inside a box you made. Okay. So someone volunteered to to, to give him some flock. 
Demolition Man. Night, catch you up. To catch up tomorrow. Night, Christine. JP's only straight now. Uh, JP's Googling stuff all the time. You reckon? Aye. You reckon he's rattling that keyboard? Yeah, I think he typed in movie quotes. Yeah. Could be. It's a strong accusation, JP. How do you plead? I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. Oh, that's definitely Jessica. A few I have. <laughs> Good call. I'm just going from memory, and my memory's crap, so that's why I've only put two in. <laughs> Is this the final sounding, Andy, or is it just kind of a, 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 a strong first shaping? An interim. Mm -hmm. if, you build, if, you, if you build it, they will come. That's obviously a reference to Wayne's World. No, if you build it, he will. Wow. Well, yeah, it's God. from Wayne's World and also Field of Dreams. Yeah, yeah, you're Field right. Field of Dreams. Field of, Field of Dreams is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, it gets re-quoted in, in, in Wayne's World. So it does. What do you think of the Eeyore pattern, Joy? Inches from a clean getaway. Inches from a clean getaway. I don't recognize that one. I've got to see it. Lieutenant Dan, you've got new legs. Can't do the accent. What a guy, though. Good actor. Houston, we have a problem. Apollo 13. Mm -hmm. I can do impressions, Go on, can't man. do accents. Wait, my famous farmyard impressions. Have you ever, have you ever heard my famous far, farmyard impression? No. No? Oi, get off that fucking track there. <laughs> that would sound better with a Dorset <laughs> accent. You know? That would so sound better with a Dorset accent. Roads, where we're going... We don't need roads. Uh, Back to the Future <coughs> 2, I think. We're going to the future. Show me the money. And I don't do impressions either. You shall not pass. Yes. Good movie. Yeah, great. And one of the best beards ever. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty impressive beard. It definitely is. Please be a secret door. Please be a secret door. Yay. <laughs> I don't know what's funny. Are you ladies working? Or he, he is Jaffa. Jaffa. 
I've been to that hotel. Oh, bit of a wipe down, mate. No, no, I, the very nice hotel. It's in Bump. All right, I meant um, um, Andy from the Easter Bunny. No, I, I was talking about the uh, he is Jaffa. Uh, oh, yeah. There's one. Rumour has it there'll be t-shirts of that. I've got to say, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with the Makers Media t-shirts this year. I've not seen it. Yeah, all of the, the they've got the the Makers Media logo on the front and everybody else's logo is on the back. That's not so much fun, is it? No, I specifically asked for my logo to be on the front. So I'm not very sure. I don't think I'll be buying one this year. No. No. We're busy converting. Oh, shit. oh look, look. She's oh. getting there. She's going to wipe. She's looking good, mate. Yeah, she's good. getting there. I'm going to be painting on the detail of the face, mm -hmm. so I'm just like emphasizing the body form and then I'll paint in the eyes, the lips, cool. and the facial features. Um, She's getting there, mate. She's she is the getting there. She's getting there. Not exactly how I'd hoped, but you know. Changing the, the uh, blue ask, so you know, it's doing you know, it's going well. Yeah, she's I mean the proportions of us are slightly not quite right, but um and I would have preferred that leg to be over the other leg. Um but I didn't think of that when I was cutting it out, so that's my own silly fault. So at the moment she looks like a roast chicken. Okay. No, it's not me, Grand Andy. So, but it's cool. Um, just got a couple of little fiddly bits that I want to do around the That's arm. What she said. Um, and on the tail. Um, and around that arm as well, and then that will be it for the evening. Cool. So, shouldn't be too much longer, guys. Oh, you carry on as long as you like, Andy. I'm fine. I'm on my second beer. Italian Moretti. Cool. I'll put it back on uh, mute again. Right up. Yeah, JP, I, I guessed that about the t shirt. Missed that about logos and shirts, says Dan. Mark saying he missed the, the thing about the logos and t-shirts. Uh, make a media... ...shirt with the... Oh! Ooh. Andy! We're all back Hello. on camera, mate. Agree, Mug! Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, like Hi. I was saying, Mark, uh, last year, I don't know if they didn't before last year, but last year... Make a Media Network brought out a, a T-shirt with loads and loads of different makers' uh, logos on there, uh, which I wore at uh, Maker Central last year. Uh, they did the same for this year, but it seems there weren't as many makers uh, got involved. Um, so it's... Um, in fact, looking at the T, I'm trying to remember the T-shirt. There's around about Maybe twenty twenty five meters on there. How was we in picking his nose? Well, yeah. if I did pick me nose, JP, I picked the bloody wrong one. I could have picked a better one. 
But how many subs you shy of three thousand? Sorry. How many subs are you shy? Uh, of right, I am. Um, uh, as people will have seen from my post earlier on, I've just hit one hundred and fifty thousand views. I am short of. Uh, well, I've got two hundred and around about two hundred and thirty. Uh, subs to go until I get the uh, 3,000 subs. You need to edit some of your lies and lives into. To, uh, oh, I can't. Videos. I just can't be asked. You're doing the editor online now. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, even so, I, I just I just can't be bothered. I've got other stuff to do. Yeah, kind of the same with mine. I do the odd one right now. We convert, like, I'll need to do Dread as a whole piece. I'll need to do V as a whole piece. And Bugs Bunny, I'll need to do as a whole piece. Um, which reminds me, Thursday, I'm cutting the second half of Baby Bugs. Um, with a bit less rush. I hope. Oh, JP's just 36 subs off 4,000. Well done, JP. Put it out there. If you don't already sub to JP, pop across to his channel, JP Woodwork, and give uh, him so a sub. There's a more important one. Folks, if you haven't subscribed to Real Simple Things, Barry's a good guy. He's only 12 off his first, thousand, first 100 on his custom URL. So please, please, please go over and sub to Real Simple Things and get let's, let's get Barry up over that 100 mark. The thing is, with the deal, the thing is, as you know, with, with my lives and with um, the videos that I do, <laughs> they tend to be the same sort of length. Yep. But an hour you know what I mean? Ten. An hour, hour ten. Um, even on my normal lives, I don't think I've ever gone to two hours on a normal life. A mention for Sunday. There you go, Baz. You are going to get a mention on the uh, Makers International podcast Sunday Night Live. That is nine thirty UK time. If you haven't seen it before, pop in and have a look. And Barry is going to get a mention how on Jamie shout out. How are we close now, Barry? How close are we now, Barry? Eva's in the chat. To tell you the truth, I better have a look and see if I'm already. Subscribe to Barry myself. I'm Maple here. Yes, he is. Why? Why, Eva? Tell me, tell me. Why? 94. Come on, folks. If you haven't already, if you haven't already, go and subscribe to Real Simple Things. Let's get Barry up over that 100 mark. Maybe five. Five to go. Let's get let's get Baz up over the over the line here, folks. Just had to go and check there. I am already subscribed. Uh, so I don't know why I am. I've just said, uh, just yeah, I'm already subscribed. You know, just at that moment, you think, am I feel, am I being, am I being duplicit here? Where are we at? You two, you got you two. Where are we at, Barry? Come on, man. Where are we at? Ninety six. Come on, folks. 
Come on, anybody in the chat, pop across must to be, Real Simple Things more in there. YouTube channel. More. All you need to do is if you put your mouse to the right hand side of Real Simple Things in the chat, there's three buttons there. Click on the three buttons, you can go to his channel and subscribe. I've just explained that, Eva. If you go to the right buttons at the beside his name, at the right hand side of his name, it will bring it up in a different window so you don't have to pop out and pop back. How you doing, Barry? Sorry, Mark, didn't realize you were on the pad. Oh, Mark saying that these. Oh, and there we have. Barry has Result. just hit 100. Result. Eva, real simple things. Just underneath your last comment. Who unsubscribed? Not shop dog Eva. Well, you can feel free to subscribe to shop dog. Yeah, well, okay. And JP has also shared it on his Facebook as well. How's that? Who's how, how are we doing, Barry? Come on. Cool. Boom, a hundred. Says a hundred here. That still says a hundred here. Boom. There we are. Good man. How are you doing, Andy? Yeah, all good. Back in the ring. <clears throat> Young Barry has made it to 100. Yay! Go claim that URL. Get your URL, Barry. Go get it. Just go get it, man. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it, Baza. I don't know that clear mind. You must have done. Should check Wayne, because that would be YouTube slash Wayne that would turn up as a URL, the easiest thing in the world to put in business cards and all that kind of shenanigans. I must check that after. Cool. So once she's had a bit of a uh, bit of a paint. That'll be her done. I'll do the chest slightly uh, like creamy colour because that's mm -hmm. colour of her chest. Uh, creamy inside the ears. Uh, white eyes. Uh, she's got eyeshadow on. White eyes. So I'll do Sorry. that. And the lips slightly related singing. different colour as well. Um, she has got a pink bow but um, I wasn't going to Try carving a pink bow on there because it's brown. <laughs> so Mark from Shop Dog Workshop says he's only nine thousand two hundred and nineteen of ten thousand Instagram followers. Come on. <laughs> nice one, Mark. <laughs> I'm only five off seven hundred, if anyone's interested. 
Right. Tell so, you the truth, I, I don't even look at how many followers I've got on Instagram. Um, I'm right, 12. Bear with and me. Oh, he's off from that. Cool. 9,219 from 10 of 10 furs on Instagram. Come on. Uh, Dave McLean says, I'm a few off of 500. I think I'm already is. Dale, check your private messages. I'm just going to have a look. I'm going to have a look. Um, it says, Oh, I will try. Oh, questions for Team Scroll. So, yep, absolutely. Do the do the questions, and uh, um, when you join Team Scroll, so they're really important. Take it very seriously. JP gets really upset if folk don't answer the questions, and some of the other guys get awfully paranoid and become delete happy and all that kind of madness. I've got six hundred and three followers on Instagram. Good man. I said, no, I don't do. That's it. Don't let them in. Don't let them in if they don't fill in the questions. Hashtag Team Scrosa. Hashtag Team Scrosa rules. Okay, so I'm going to knock it on the head there. Um, I've only got the painting details left to do on that, as far as I'm concerned. Giving it a good sand down. Um, I'll paint the details on, and I will post the pictures up on my Instagram. Um, but there you go. That's um, the bunny. She's not. She's a bit rough, to be fair. But once she's had a coat of paint, um, she'll look a lot better. Cool. Um, well so done, we... Wayne of the Big Fitties. Well done, MD. You right? If I bring you back for a sec, guys. Sure, man. Yep. Carry on. Uh, let me bring myself back. Just by magic, a beard appeared. Cool. Right, yeah, so that's that. One bunny. Um, I'll get her finished off, and as I say, I'll get her posted up on Instagram. Um, check us out on AH Bespoke, at AH Bespoke, rather. Um, and just so you get to see that turned out really well last week with really the pattern. like that really that's like that so I'm really quite really pleased with that one that one's quite cool it is. Like um, it's just been reposted by um, GPS so um, hopefully that'll uh, do something um, and obviously with the bunny, that's cool, coming up to Easter. Um, although I think we might be knocking that on ahead this year. Um, yeah. Bit of a shame. But um, thanks ever so much, guys, for um, being my eyes and ears. And thank you ever so much, guys, for jumping. Cool probs. Oh, Pleasure probs. as always, sir. Pleasure as always. Hmm. Got a mouth like Gandhi, slip flop. Um <laughs> Oh, I haven't heard that in a long time. Um, tomorrow, lunchtime live, that would be myself. Uh, that would be one yes, o'clock on this channel. Not entirely sure what I'm doing yet. Um, but then when do I ever? So that's cool. You should, nothing <laughs> should be used to that by now. Um so thanks ever so much guys please stay safe please um keep away from everyone all right mingers. tomorrow night tomorrow night since our oh. rich is having a, a week off from uh social media and doing stuff at home and everything i'm doing rich's live tomorrow night cool cool beans cool. 
And Wednesdays, just in case anyone wants to know, Wednesdays lunchtime live is Nick Nick. Flame and Turner doing a puzzle. Yeah, yeah. And Wednesday night, it's me again. Yeah. Oh, you. Oh, you're so yeah, unlucky this week, week. The week of Wayne, you know what I mean? Yeah, and kind of thing. Who, the week of me. Thursday. Thursday's me. So I'm going to do Thursday Evening. and Friday lunchtime sort of thing. So Thursday will be finishing off Baby Bugs. Friday, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's a few options. Thursday, so Thursday evening. I don't know if anybody's doing anything on Thursday evening. Don't because Richard's Rich isn't doing his live. He's um, in bed this week it's either. So on later on. Is it's it? Stuff no, on later on. Scott. Scott's on Saturday lunchtime. I think, but I don't know who's doing an evening on Thursday. I need to check the the the, the, the schedule that the Nicholas got up on the website now because it's probably the most accurate one. Um, cool. But it's it's I'm not sure. There's the there's the beard, um, um, the Steve, um, but Steve's taking some time out right now. Um, and there's a couple of people on late on in the evening, and I forget who. But it's a good night for lots of stuff pinned down. So have a look around. Cool. Late afternoon, well, the four four o'clock in the afternoon, and I don't know why he's doing this, but Colwyn Way from uh, Axminster Tools is certainly doing a four o'clock live slot, uh, showing different things. Uh, but I don't know if it's on YouTube, Facebook, or whatever. You might might have to do a a bit of search about. When's when's Martin doing the Robert Sorby Sharpman system demo? I think he's doing Sunday. that tomorrow night. Is it tomorrow night? Yeah, the same time as I'm going live. So, in fact, he, Martin starts his live at seven o'clock just to get people involved in the chat. Then he goes live at half past seven. Um, but I'm going to be doing. Like I say, Rich is live at 8 o'clock, so it's going to be a choice on whether you want to watch me or you want to watch Martin. He tend, does tend to get 1,600,000 more views than anybody else at the moment, uh, but that's Martin. Uh, so I am on tomorrow night. Um, I'll have a think about Thursday. I'll, I'll have a think about Thursday. Uh, if nothing's happened... Happening Thursday evening when uh, Richard usually does his um, beard oh, invades. Oh, you have, might jump in on. Yeah, I might have a premiere of um, something I'm working on at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's good night. Know, if that's okay. all right. Oh, that's okay. fine. Cool. Let's wrap this one up then, I think. Indeedy. Thanks ever so much, folks. You take care. See you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Night, night. And...